Worrying, interestingly, uh, it's been shown in the literature that it can lead to a distraction from the unpleasant feeling of anxiety. And also, and perhaps more importantly, it can make us feel like we're in control. Now, I want to highlight something really important. Worrying doesn't actually give us control. It just makes us feel like we're in control because we're doing something as compared to doing nothing. Well, what's reinforcing about that, right? So is it, because the idea here is that somehow the worrying itself will reduce the anxiety and then you get, and then it's reinforced. How does it actually reduce the anxiety at all? Or Yeah, so that's, a, that's an interesting question. It doesn't actually reduce the anxiety. Paradoxically, it increases the anxiety because it feeds back and says, hey, next time you're anxious, you should worry. So the only way that reinforcement works is that there's gotta be something rewarding for our brain. So that feeling of control may be rewarding enough mm -hmm. as compared to just sitting and wallowing in our anxiety. So is that because they think about themselves and think about what might happen here and what might happen there, and they have this, uh, I think you call them loop, right? This sort of habit loop. Yeah, so people can get stuck in these habit loops. And as you're pointing out, Christoph, this network, this default mode network has been now shown to be this self-referential network. So when we're thinking about ourselves in the past, when we're thinking about ourselves in the future, even when we're caught up in cravings for substances or even social media, that network gets activated.